Hey, what's up guys? Magicmon here. And today I'm going to be showing you a really good um stage type trick that you can perform on stages. Um this is a really great trick, so uh enjoy the video. So here's the performance of the trick. So basically, you can have the spectator pick any card. So let's say they pick this card over here. Oops, sorry. So um I'll show the camera, I'll look away. So that's the card, okay? Now, um, I'll give the deck a quick cut and just leave it in the middle. Now, with just a wave of my hand, what happens is actually if I spread through the cards, there just happens to actually be one blue card standing out from the rest. And, um, you know, if we take a look at that card, it just happens to be your card, the Four of Clubs. You know, let's just set it to the side over here. We'll get back to that in a second. So, um, I'll give the deck a quick cut. So, just like that. And now, um, I'll have the spectator call out stop whenever they want. So, I don't have a spectator, so I'll just say stop at a random time. This is actually a random choice. So, let's say, they say stop right about here. So, so here's the card. Okay, so I'll leave it in the center, give the deck a few cuts, uh, give it a shuffle. Okay, now I believe, now the card you chose now has actually turned blue. So if I spread through, there should actually be another blue card in here. Or uh, maybe not. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure your card actually did turn blue. So, you know what? If we take a look at this card right over here, the card it is just happens to be the four of hearts. That's the trick. Uh, stick around for the tutorial. Hey, so here's the tutorial on the trick. So, basically, you're going to need um, a red deck or a blue deck. And then you're going to pick any random card from it. So in the performance, I had the four of hearts. And then you're going to need the same card from a blue deck or a red deck if you're using a blue deck. So what's going to happen is the setup to this trick is you put the red four on the bottom. And then you put the blue four on the, or the, blue, the red card and the blue card. Okay, the blue card on the bottom and the red card underneath it. So you have the blue card on the bottom and then the red card above it. So then you tell the spectator to pick any card. You just can't spread too far because then it'll show that. So just spread like this. It's really not that hard. So then you have them pick a card. This can actually be any random card. If you are afraid of them picking one of the bottom two cards, just ask them to tell you when to stop and just riffle down the side. And if you get too close, just riffle off, and then, um, so, yeah, that's what you're going to do if you don't, if you're kind of scared, you know what, we don't want a joker, so, let's just use this card, okay, so the jack of hearts, so what you're going to do is you're going to have it on top, all you're going to do is cut the deck, that's literally all you do, and then you do a magical gesture, whatever you want, and then you spread through the cards, and then you show that one card is blue, so now you're going to cut the blue card and everything under it to the top so that leaves the blue card the blue four and their selection under it okay and then the other four is on the bottom so all you're going to do is a double lift so in the tutorial or in the performance all i did was just a regular classic double lift uh you could do like i don't know any double lift you want i'm not i'm still trying to work on that one uh but yeah, so, okay, that was better. Um, so just do any double lift to show that their card is now turned blue, but it really hasn't. You just, it looks like it. So then you're not going to show them what this card actually is. You're just going to do a double lift, and then set the card down and put it to the side. If you're performing this to someone, I would put a box on top of it or put something on top of it. Tell, their, tell them to put their hands on top of it or something. So now what you're going to do is you're going to do a Hindu force. So if you don't know what that is, 
Um, there's plenty of tutorials out there, but I'll go over a quick overview. So you're gonna hold, so you're gonna have your middle finger uh, right on the side, your thumb here, and then your index finger curled right here. And then actually you're gonna have your ring finger on the side too and your pinky's just gonna be hanging off. So now you're gonna hold it in dealer's grip and grab the top packets slowly and you're gonna you're going to be grabbing like tiny little packs so you're just gonna be grabbing them with uh, these fingers right here and your thumb and just pulling them off and then they say stop and you're basically just gonna take this packet square it up and show them and it's going to be this card because if you're doing this um, you're just gonna do it and it's gonna the bottom card is still gonna say the same the whole time so it's just forcing the card. It's just a way to force the card. So then, once you show it, you just slap it down on top. It, it can you can shuffle the deck, whatever. Give it a cut. Does not matter at all. So uh, now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna spread through and say, "Now this card turned blue," and you're gonna spread through, and you're gonna be like, "Act like you're gonna act like you messed up or something." You're gonna be kind of like, "Oh, apparently not." Uh, crap, and then. Basically, then you're going to say, well, I'm pretty sure it did turn blue. And then you're going to come over to this card, say whatever you want, and then flip it over and reveal that their card has magically changed into blue. Two times, actually. So, uh, that's the trick. Uh, hope you liked it. I'll see you next time.